My name is Dr. Marie Vidalovic, and we're going to be doing the MIS technique for the percutaneous bunion today. The patient has an ultrasound-guided ankle block done, and they can have sedation or no sedation for this procedure. That's done in the block room, and then the patient's brought into the operating room, placed supine on the table, with a small sand a bump under the hips, and a bigger bump under the knees for a little bit of knee flexion, to permit for a nice AP radiograph of the foot with the CN. The wire is inserted at the base of the nail bed, at the intersection where the plantar and the dorsal skin come together. The wire should be pushed directly down to bone, and then follow the bone under the skin all the way to the bunion. Once you see the wire sticking out, you can pull back a little bit, and that's going to help for our incision. The incision is made under fluoroscopy at the metaphyseal diaphyseal junction. And you can see on the radiograph that the wire is stuck directly down to bone. A hemostat is then used to go above and below to clear the soft tissues before cutting the bone. An irrigation burr is then used. It's a high torque, low speed burr that will not burn the bone. The osteotomy is done at the metaphyseal diaphyseal junction. You want to make sure that you're perpendicular to the first metatarsal ray, which has a natural plantar inclination. So when cutting in the sagittal plane, keeping in mind 90 degrees in both the coronal and sagittal plane. You can feel when you go through the bone and on both the dorsal and plantar side. In a young patient, we want to pierce the lateral cortex again a few times and then use the osteotome to complete the osteotomy. And then we use the Hallis wire passer. The passer is inserted and the translation is initiated. Once we're happy with the translation, we push the wire out the skin and then engage the wire passer with the wire in it back into the canal. The rotation needs to be set at this point and then we initiate putting the wire into the metatarsal. So in patients with hard bone, I use a wire driver. The rotation needs to be set so you can derotate the toe before crossing the metatarsal cuneiform joint. Once you cross that, the rotation is fixed. The wire passer is then removed and we go look on the lateral x-ray. So that's a perfect lateral x-ray. The wire is centered in the metatarsal head as well as into the metatarsal shaft. The final step is removal of the small amount of medial bone that's on the proximal metatarsal portion. And this is just to make sure that the patients are comfortable in shoe wear. A little bit of irrigation is done to remove any little bits of bone left. And a dissolvable stitch is used to close the skin. When you're doing bilateral cases, it's important to have the C-arm operating from the same side of the surgery. And the dressings are done at the end. We use a, a padded uh, sticky dressing for the first metatarsal ray to help support it for weight bearing. And then the dressing's purpose is to help support the wire, so we pull the toe into some more abduction. Patients are allowed to fully weight bear on a rigid sole sandal. They're encouraged to put their full weight of their foot on the ground. They do not touch the initial dressing for the first 10 days, after which point they're seen in clinic and the dressing is changed and they're shown how to do their own dressing so that they can shower every two days. They also get an antibiotic prescription at the 10-day appointment. In case they get a superficial pin site infection, they can start the antibiotics themselves and are instructed that increased pain is the first sign of infection. At three and a half weeks, the wire is removed. This is a painless process, after which point the patients can go into a regular shoe. They're allowed to walk as much as they want for the first three months after surgery. And after their radiograph at three months, if there's good bony healing, they're allowed to return to impact sports and activities. Then the wire is cut at the level of the skin and bent so that they can't catch it on anything. <laughs>